AZTKI, the future of human AI collaboration. Hello everyone, I hope you are all feeling great today. This is Uday Kumar Shivagaranathan, founder of Draventer. This particular topic was not spoken on YouTube until today. I'll be the first person to talk about it. Agent KI UX, the future of human AI collaboration. There was a morning, not long ago, when I opened my laptop and my AI assistant had already drafted my schedule sent to emails and summarized last evening's meeting. I hadn't touched the keyboard and for a brief moment, I just froze because I realized it wasn't waiting for me anymore. It just acted with confidence, context and pure intent that what I wanted. That's the moment it hit me. We have crossed a quiet threshold. For decades, we have built machines that wait for our instructions. Now we are designing ones that think and decide and act sometimes before we even notice the need. This is the new era of design, an era I call as agentic AI UX. When the interface disappears and the intelligence begins to collaborate. We have always loved the idea of assistance, a Siri that listens, an Alexa that responds, a chatbot that answers. But these were still reactive tools. They waited for our commands. Agent KI doesn't wait. It anticipates, it plans and it just executes. When you say, I need to plan a client workshop in Bangalore, before you even finish your coffee, your AI checks your calendar, sends invites, blocks your travel and blocks your time. That's no longer an assistance, that's an agency. And because we are no longer designing user journeys, we are designing intelligence behavior. Let's trace how we got there. The 90s gave us the graphic era, windows, icons, buttons. The 2000s brought mobility, swipes, taps and gestures. The 2010s introduced experience like emotions, delight and storytelling. And 2020s bringing us the agency. This decade belongs to the agentic era where design is not about how users act but how systems act responsibly. The transition might look subtle but which is massive. We are moving from interaction design to intention design. It's no longer what can can users do? It's what should AI understand, design and do on behalf of the user. Let's break the word agentic down over here. It means having power to act with purpose. A truly agentic system can do the below four. Number one, perceive. They read the environment. Number two, they design, choose an action. Number three, they act. They just execute autonomously. Number four, reflect, learn from the outcomes. Which sounds very human, right? Doesn't it? But here is the twist. The more capable of an AI becomes, the more invisible it actually becomes. And that's a UX nightmare. Because when actions are invisible, trust becomes fragile. That's why the future of UX isn't about what the AI does, but how clearly it communicates why it did that. Let's visualize this particular evolution. You open an app, click a button and wait for output. In the agentic UX, you express the intent. AI plans, decides and acts across multiple systems. The magic lies not in the screen, but in system orchestration. Imagine this, you say, book my next meeting with Ramesh. The AI checks your availability, cross-checks with Ramesh, books the meeting, sends invites and follows up all in the background. You don't need to interact, you just delegate your work to the AI. And delegation requires trust. Designing that trust, that's the new UX frontier. We have moved from designing interfaces to designing interdependencies between humans and digital agents. So far, how do we design for something the things and acts, agentic UX. I call it the agentic UX framework built on five principles. Number one, transparency over magic. The AI should, its reasoning, why I did this log creates clarity and comfort. Number two, control hierarchy. Let users set levels of autonomy, which is manually guided or autonomous. Number three, dialogic feedback. AI should converse, not confirm. I have done this. What do you like to adjust? Number four, Predictable personality. The agent must act consistently. Predictability builds trust more than brilliance. Number five, ethical agency. Every autonomous action must preserve human values, privacy, and pure intent. Because in this new design world, trust is not a feature at all, it's the interface. Let's pass here. When AI acts, who's responsible for the outcome? 
If your AI negotiates a contract and misses a clause, it's not on the user, the designer or the algorithm. This is where AGTQ must embed accountability layers. We can't afford opaque intelligence over here. Every agentic system must come with decision visibility. Show what parts it consider. Ethical alignment that it acted within the user defined boundaries. Reversibility. Let the user roll back an AI made decision very easy. It is just optional. It is the ethical design in the age of delegation. Now let's talk about emotion because agency changes how people feel. When AI acts on our behalf, it triggers a subtle human tension, the loss of control. Here, the user will start asking, do I still matter in this particular decision? Agentic UX must design for emotional safety, reassure users that they are still the author of the outcomes, even when AI takes that particular initiative. The ideal relationship isn't AI doing things for us, it's AI acting with us. It's not about submission, it's about symbiosis. That's the emotional architecture of this particular new UX era. A story, the AI designers day. Let me share a glimpse of the near future. It's going to be 2026. A UX designer named Mira starts her typical day. Her AI has already completed yesterday's feedback, adjusted wireframes based on the analytics, generated a client-ready presentation deck. When Mira logs in, she reviews, fine-tunes and sends it. What used to take 5 hours before now takes 30 minutes. But she is not replaced, she is repositioned. Her creativity now directs systems, not just scripts. She is not a designer of pixels anymore. She is a designer of possibilities. That's the true gift of Agent Equals. Liberation from repetition. We began this journey designing interfaces. Then we designed experiences for our users. Now we are designing intelligent partnerships. The next decade of UX will not be about usability. It will be about alignment between human and the AI. UX will become ethics made visible and the designer's role will evolve the creators of interfaces to curators of integrity. So the question isn't what will AI do for us? The question is how do we design a world where humans and AI co-create responsibly? Because the real future of design is not artificial, it's agentic, where every click just disappears, every intention begins to act. Thank you.